Okay, there's only one day left of the winter season, and you know what that means, right? Yes, it's time to think about trading our tried and tested puffer for florals and finer teas and all of our go-to springtime style favorites. But how do we separate fashion from fads when there are so many options? Nick is here to do just that with a springtime style guide curated just for you. Hey, Nick. Tracy, happy spring. It's about time. <laughs> I'm right with I'm you screaming there. About it. Yes, I'm screaming with you. And before we get into your must haves, you say viewers should be wary of the word trend, particularly as we transition from one season to another. Why is that? Ugh, is there a word in the English language I despise more than the word trend? I don't think so, Tracy. It is a marketing ploy, okay? I'm gonna set y'all <laughs> straight today, all right? Trends are seasonal, right? We ain't got all that money. We ain't flowing bills, right? We have to think smartly. So instead of trend, it's about classics, right? Those pieces that go the distance, that come back time and time again. So we're gonna focus on staples that will last. Let's get into your top five fashion essentials for spring. What do you have for us? All right, hold your breath, y'all. It is the oversized button down, AKA the tea dress, AKA the boyfriend shirt. What I love about this, it's accessible. Go to your boyfriend's closet, your husband, your mistress, no judgment, I don't care who you get it from. The best <laughs> thing about this, Tracy, is its versatility. Hello, for spring. You can wear it bare leg if it's a hot spring day. You can put denim on if it's a bit chilly underneath leggings if it's super, super cold. My top three tips for getting it right though, Tracy, it's stick to the muted color. So get one white shirt. Why not do like a really deep, rich beige as well? It's a pop of color, but it won't overdo it. So that's tip one. Tip two, you really can accentuate that way. Singe in that belt. Singe for the quads, y'all. <laughs> a pencil belt is a perfect way to show shape, right? We're showing shape, but don't mess up the proportions. You want to stick really beautifully the luminous on top and almost A-line skirt on the bottom. And tip number three, for the shorter girls out there, I put myself in that category, tiny, mm -hmm. I'm this sore. This can overwhelm the body. So you always want to pick it up, Tracy, elevate with a heel. My favorite for spring is a um, block staple here. It's an ankle boot. The block heel gives you maximum comfort. You can wear it day in and day out. Ooh, I love that. That's beautiful what you've done with that shirt. Okay, I love your next staple. It is such a classic, the trench. The trench, hello, Kate Moss, Burberry. Does this ever go out of style? It's called the trench, fun fact, I'm a history buff, because of trench warfare. This is a proper army combat coat. It's been around forever. Why is it a classic? Why is it great for spring? Because it goes with absolutely everything. This is a statement piece on its own. You can almost wear it as a dress. And, and that's sort of it. My top three tips for getting it right, stick with the classic camel. Don't go for the seasonal white, black, or even those dusty pinks or blue. This goes the distance. It's also hugely utilitarian, right? It's got the pockets. It's got the cinch in again. We're going back to cinch, which is one of my favorites. Top tip number two is you want to make sure proportions are right. This should hit you right above the knee, and that is exactly that. Okay, I like how you're telling us to like back away from the trendy uh, colors when it comes to your trends. Just stick with the classic. Your next springtime style is stripes, stripes, and more stripes. Do tell. Stripes. Okay, stripes have been around forever and they're not going anywhere yet. If you can find something striped that has both angular and slanted stripes, they actually contour the body, Tracy. So if you get a dress that has both angular and slanted stripes at the waist, for example, it can cinch in that waist beautifully and create that beautiful hourglass figure. Okay, spring style staple number four is the little black dress reimagined. What's this all about? Oh my God. It's the LBD. Can we have a moment of silence for the <laughs> LBD? This is a perennial. It's been around the block. Audrey Hepburn, come on, Princess Di, Grace Kelly, right? It's all about LBD. I'm talking the modern black dress though for spring. All right, we've seen the LBD. How are we gonna reinvent this for spring? Number one, it's all about fabrication. Stick to your jerseys. They have stretch, Tracy, elastine in it. They fit to the body instead of the body fitting to the dress. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, it's ultra feminine, right? The LBD, that's part of why we love it. But for people who wanna make it more masculine or more gender neutral for the season, you literally just need to add one single piece and it's the oversized tuxedo jacket. Bam! You have an ent entire new silhouette, which is great. You can almost Pair it down and dress down street style with a combat boot for day. And ladies, if you're going out, you just need one change, the black pump for night, and you're good to go. Talk about versatility. 
Oh my gosh, gorgeous. I love that with the tuxedo jacket. Now your final must have scream spring pastels. How should we approaching them? My pastels are great for spring. It's a transitory color. We're not ready for the neons of summer. These are really low saturation and beautiful. My top tips though for getting pastels right. Number one, stick with lavender, Tracy. A lot of pastels are really aggressive on certain skin types. You don't want to figure out what type of skin type you have and what goes best. Lavender is the key to go. Number two, pastels can be ultra feminine again. If you want to masculinize it and bring it down to the center, stick with oversized boxy pieces, athleisure wear, oversized sweaters, hoodies like I've got here with the knit and here with the hoodie as well. And tip number three, if you're going to pair with accessories, stick only with earth tones. Earth tones and pastels go beautiful together. Think of the natural world, the dirt, the forest, the trees, and this beautiful <laughs> beige goes really well with this. Nick, thank you so much. Great tips there. Uh, we love